So as for today, we'll be discussing about AI application and then we'll discuss whether it's a good or a bad thing. But first of all, we have to understand what it means by AI. So basically, AI is the ability of a digital computer controlled robot to perform tasks. And in order to make that happen, you have to ingest a large amount of training data and then they'll analyze the data for correlations and sort of the patterns. And after that, they'll be using these patterns to make a prediction about the future states to slow up tax for human. And also, it's going to require a foundation of a specialized hardware and also software, for example, Python, that are usually used by the developer to write it. And AI application is to mostly to alleviate certain problems throughout academy and also industry by getting insights into user behavior and then you make data-driven suggestions for those people. So now looking at the benefit, benefit of this, so obviously it increases productivity and efficiency because AI can slow tasks quickly and also it can use fewer resources compared to human and also it reduces error inconsistencies in data analysis but it's not only that because it's also creating new ideas in science perspectives from data but now the negative sign would be of course the price would be very high which means not all the company can afford for that and also there will be some complexity there hard to understand even for the developers and also there will obviously be better ethical and social concerns about privacy, security, accountability, transparency and also it will limit human involvement and also it will take control in data analysis and also the decision making but thinking about it, sometimes yeah, I can just understand some complex situation which requires a human judgment but now, we will be comparing these two science by using the research from the academy in many fields such as education, healthcare, and also the business, and then we will see which one is out with the others. So now looking at the positive sign of AI application, so we will be looking in terms of education and this from the research, we using AI application as a vocabulary learning for students by using code theory to present the objects in picture or pronunciation and also the format. And by that, students show a better understanding of language because it's a new way to learn. They don't just have to re memorize everything, but then it would be more practical and also be more inventive than the old teaching style. And now looking at the another positivity in terms of artificial intelligence in healthcare, so we have to say it has a very great potential to address some of the most significant medical and also health challenges. And it's because it has the ability to analyze huge volumes of clinically relevant data in real time. So it is a benefit of the doctor, of course, because it can work easier. And then there will be a greater change of the patient to be cured from what they are suffering from. And now looking at some example of neurosurgeons, they usually use AI for image interpretation, operational planning, and surgical team coordination. So it's e a lot easier for them to do the work. And now, right now, we'll be looking into the negative signs to compare. So first of all, the first negative thing about AI application is the emergence of automation reduced to labor income in industrial-like countries. And also, it will change the working patterns because from the past, we usually work with people, but in the future, AI will be taking place. So, a majority of labels will be replaced by AI system, which is scary for them, as they will lose their job. And then there will be a risk of AI replacement. And also, in terms of wages, it will negatively impact high skill and intensive skill laborers' wages because instead of paying for those people monthly, which is expensive, the company can just invest funds for the AI, which will be cheaper considering they'll be investing for AI for long time uses. And now AI also had changed a sense of work because from the past, we don't really care about a digital skill at all. But then you became a foundation requirement when applying for work. And this negatively affect the adult rather than the teenager because because the teenager are usually grown up with AI, so they're easily to adjust. But 
as for elderly people they're still working it's very be very hard for them to adjust to those changes and now looking at the another negative signs about our ai application we have to say that some application from by AI affects the learning methodologies of students. For example, ChatGPT and other processing tools that are available online, which is all the AI application. These tools can affect the acquisition of critical thinking, problem solving, and also group work skills among students. This is because the way the system directly solves this problem to students. And by that, it might weaken the learning process of hindering the deep elimination of techniques and also the results of the student. Because basically, students will have to ask for the teacher for the explanation or to work with their friends in order to solve their homework. But as they're using AI application, they will be they just do everything for them and. As for that, the learning process won't happen. As for those examples from the research, I would say it's very hard to say which one I would the other is between the positive side and the negative signs. But as for myself, I think the things that are more important if we have to talk about AI application is we have to understand that the positive sign is very good as you make your life easier, but the negative sign is also scary because it can replace us entirely. So you might not have to work to do at all. For example, the trees and also teachers, it can be easily replaced by AI and also those future tools and digital skills in the future. So we can use it obviously because it's easy and it's useful, but we have to make sure to never let it take control over us. I think that's the most important things to talk about AI application.